Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Dallas Insightful Tarot. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope today that I can give you clarity and insight into your situation. Remember to only take what resonates with you and leave the rest for another Scorpio that needs to hear this message, okay? This is just gonna be a quick read, just a little update, okay? Um, I'm also curious because I'm trying to expand my chan channel Scorpio. I'm trying to put more focus. I've made a goal list and I'm trying to um, put more focus on readings. Um, if there's any other signs that you're interested in hearing, I'm curious, please tell me in the comments, maybe like your sun, moon, Venus are rising, or if you would like me to do collective reads. Um, also, maybe any topics that you're interested in hearing about, like your future or, you know, outcomes, just any kind of topics. You guys know what I mean, okay? So let's jump in and find out what Spirit wants you to know. This is just going to be a short read, like I said. It's just a little update, Okay. Um, I'm curious. Let's do kind of like a collective. I just want to do something different and see how this goes. If Scorpio is dealing with a Aries, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Give me one more spirit. We have Three of Wands. So Scorpio, I feel like this is a person who maybe spent some time trying to wait to see if things were going to get better okay and i feel like they i feel like this person's tired of waiting okay something about this person's energy is telling me that they've sort of laid these burdens down because they got tired of waiting for something to move here forward okay let's see scorpio's dealing with a taurus scorpio dealing with a taurus How's this person feeling right now? Will of Fortune. Wow. So, Scorpio, what I just heard right off the top of my head is this person thought that things were going to go better than they actually did. This is the Ten of Swords. So, there's definitely, I feel like there's, there's an, if there hasn't been an ending yet, this is a person who is feeling like maybe this ending was meant to happen, okay? If it's not with you, maybe this person is also feeling like the ending that they've experienced was meant to help maybe bring you two together, okay? So this person might be experiencing something and they feel like it's destiny that you and you're speaking or that you're going to be speaking. They feel like you were supposed to meet. Scorpio, who is dealing with a Gemini. Scorpio is dealing with Gemini. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Wands. So this Gemini, honestly, Scorpio, I feel like they're waiting to see if you're going to reach out to them. They're hoping that you're going to reach out to them. They're not sure how you're feeling anymore. So I feel like this person wants communication from you. Um, I also feel like they're trying to think about, look at the squirrel in this card. I feel like this person's trying to think about what it is that they're going to say to you. Like, what can I say to Scorpio um, to maybe, to help, maybe, maybe you haven't, I'm hearing a random message. Maybe you haven't responded and this Gemini is hoping that you're going to respond in the way that they would like you to. Um, I do feel like they're trying to decide like how they're going to reach out and what they're going to say. I feel like this person's wanting to put an effort, but they they also might be feeling like Scorpio that you haven't taken any time to reach out to them. So I'm feeling like this is a person who might even be sort of upset and they're thinking to themselves like, well, you know, the phone goes both ways. You know, they can call me too. And they're waiting. They're, they're trying to see if you're going to put any effort to communicate and maybe message or see them. Okay. If you're a Scorpio and you're dealing with a Leo, I'm sorry, Cancer. Scorpio dealing with a Cancer. The Magician. And then we have the Six of Wands. So Scorpio, the, this this Cancer really likes you. They like the attention that you give them. I feel like this person is trying to figure out how they can make this come to fruition. This, this Cancer is definitely interested, okay? They're trying to figure out what they can do in order to create success here in this connection. I feel like this Cancer might also feel like you get a lot of, you get a lot of attention. And that might sort of make them um, overly emotional, I'm hearing. So maybe this Cancer is like, they're a little bit concerned about like, what can I do to make myself look better or do better for Scorpio to be interested in me without maybe hoping that you get too much attention, okay? I'm also hearing a side message that maybe this, um, for some of you, this Cancer might be worried about the attention that they receive by communicating with you. 
okay? If something, if something would go bad, maybe they would feel like they would get negative attention from this. Maybe they even feel like they have to be careful about reaching out to you, okay? I don't know why, maybe they're dealing with somebody already. I heard that as a side message. That's not you, you're gonna know, okay? Let's see. If you're a Scorpio and you are dealing with a Leo, okay, these flew out. So we have the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, and then we also have the Five of Cups, all flew, all three flew out. So if you're a Scorpio dealing with a Leo, I feel like this Leo is, they're silent right now. And I feel like it's because somebody was left out in the cold and having a lot of regrets and feelings about maybe something not working out here between the both of you. So I definitely feel like there's silence and there's been a separation, and I feel like they're trying to heal from this, okay? Okay, if you're a Scorpio and you're dealing with a Virgo, Scorpio dealing with a Virgo, Scorpio dealing with a Virgo, the Nine of Cups and the Death. So <laughs> if you are dealing with a Virgo, I feel like someone is happy that things ended. I feel like they're realizing that they're better, they're better off happy and single than they are together with you, okay? I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, they're feeling like this ending has brought them some sort of sense of fulfillment, okay? Um, if that's not it, I'm also hearing that they're they're realizing that maybe there can be a renewal here to bring them happiness. They can be even, um, look at all these cups. Maybe they have a lot of options or they're realizing other options they're, or they could be thinking after an ending that the two of you have had that maybe that something could actually, they're realizing maybe how happy you made them if you did have an ending with them. That's what I'm hearing for the most of you. If you had an ending with this person, they're hoping there could be a transformation here because they're realizing now how happy you made them, okay? If you are a Scorpio and you're dealing with a Libra, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, one more, and the Tower. So I feel like this person had a reckoning or some sort of realization out of nowhere that they choose you. With the two of pentacles in reverse or they might there this might be how they seeing you that you made a choice and this was sudden okay i feel like if not this person could be reaching out to you soon this libra wants to make a choice about maybe moving things forward here give me one more spirit two of swords yeah i feel like they're they're in two minds about it though scorpio i feel like this person is going back and forth i feel like they could be focused on work i just saw the eight of swords i'm sorry eight of pentacles they could be just so focused on work, but they're not really, they're, they might even feel like you're going to block them after them not making this decision sooner in the past, okay? If you are a Scorpio and you're dealing with a Scorpio. The King of Pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this person wants to give you some sort of truth about how they want this. This is a person who wants to provide for you. They want to nurture this connection. I feel like this person definitely wants to take this to the next level. And I feel like they might have an offer that they want to give to you and give you communication about how they want to do this. Okay. If you are a Scorpio and you are dealing with a Sagittarius. That's too many spirit. Scorpio dealing with a Sagittarius. So we have the five of wands and the three of swords. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, there's conflict here. Okay, certainly. I feel like there could be other people who are competing or fighting for your attention in this connection, and somebody feels like they were betrayed. You or them. I don't feel like this is a, definitely with the Sagittarius, things are not good right now. Somebody feels betrayed, and it's because they might have even got information about somebody competing against them, or this could be you. Okay, let's see. If you're a Scorpio, and you are dealing with a Capricorn. We have strength and the moon. So Scorpio, I feel like if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're really holding they're holding their feelings back. And it's taken a lot from them to hold the, hold their feelings back. I also feel like they might be hiding something from you. They're afraid to show their emotions. They have a fear. What is another one? The devil. Yeah, this could be toxic. This person might be holding their feeling backs about how obsessed that they are with you. Okay? And that devil card is is Capricorn energy. So I feel like someone's really, um, they're heavily in their emotions right now. They're trying to hold the strength to not contact you. Nine of Pentacles. They could maybe see, they don't like the fact that you're single or that you appear single or that maybe the fact that they feel like that they don't have enough. I also heard that. That would make sense. Capricorns usually typically care a lot about their stability. They could be um, overly obsessed with maybe trying to gain financial independence. 
and this is hard for them because I feel like they might even want to tell you about it, but it could be embarrassing. Okay, if you are a Scorpio, if Scorpio is dealing with a Aquarius, the hanged man and the sun. So Scorpio, I feel like if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this person, they you make them happy. And I feel like they might have sacrificed something here. And they're realizing how happy you make them. And I feel like they are they might even be um, having some sort of spiritual awakening right now and getting clarity about something. Maybe about how they love you. Let's see. I'm feeling guided to pull one of these. Toxicity. They might realize that this is toxic or that they were toxic in the past. It says, I'm sending you loving energy. Can you feel it? Okay. Bottom of the deck, repetitive cycles. They're scared of repeating something. And I feel like they might even realize that even though you make them happy, that they maybe need to separate themselves. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this is the end. They might know this is the end. Maybe you ended it or they ended it. But I feel like somebody's realizing that maybe this is toxic. But they do still love you. Okay. Um, and I do feel like if there has been a bad ending here in this relationship, I do feel like this Aquarius is knowing that they need to change something in their lives. Um, because of the toxicity that I, I feel like that they're becoming more self-aware of, okay? If you are a Scorpio and you are dealing with a Pisces, lovely Pisces, please, Ace of Cups, and then we have the Six of Cups. So someone wants to go back. Someone's thinking about all the love they have for you, and I feel like this person could even be asking themselves why they didn't say something to you sooner, why didn't I express my feelings then? Because this person does want a new beginning with you, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see. I'm curious. Spirit told me to do a couple more of these. Okay. They wanted to give me some messages to put on the sun sign. Okay. So star sign. What about this uh, Aries? I wish you were here with me is what Aries is saying. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus. They think there's a lot of obstacles in their life and maybe this ending that they are experiencing is, is keeping them from maybe um, being able to have something with you right now but they do feel like you were put in their life for a reason yeah it says please don't move on they're hoping that whatever they can get past in these obstacles in their life they're hoping that they're going to be done in time to create this destiny that they feel like the two of you are meant to be together okay what is this eight of wands and six of pentacles for um gemini this was just a fling. Yeah. So what I'm feeling is Gemini's kind of worried about reaching out to you and they're trying to con conjure up a plan to figure out maybe if you're going to communicate with them because they, they're they wondering if this is just a fling to you or if this was something more. Okay. They're feeling like, was this just a fling? One more. Please be patient with me. Yeah. I feel like they're scared. I feel like you intimidate this Gemini. Okay. Tell me about cancer. I'm making changes for the better. Yeah, that would explain this magician card. Somebody's trying to create something because I do feel like they want your attention. Maybe they want your attention so that you can see maybe how successful they are or how, how maybe likable of a person they are. Yeah, and they're reminiscing about this. Okay. Tell me about this uh, Leo. Why is Leo here with four of swords, five of pentacles, and five of cups? Twin flame, okay, so you might have a Leo twin flame here, or maybe a twin flame's involved, okay, and somebody was left out in the cold and trying to heal right now, healing from something else. It could be healing from another relationship, um, but they're missing you, and they're feeling out. I can't stand the thought of you with someone else, so maybe somebody feels betrayed, like another person left them with another person for another one, okay. Tell me more about Virgo. Why is this Nine of Cups death here for Virgo? Jealous and possessive. One more. Twin flame journey. So for some of you, you could have a twin flame Virgo that is feeling jealous and possessive over you. And they might be hoping that an ending in their life will bring a new beginning with you because they're missing you. Okay. Tell me about this um, Libra and Scorpio. Why is the Two of Swords Tower and the Two of Pentacles in reverse here for Libra? There was something in, there was someone interfering in our relationship and spiritual awakening.
okay? So someone's going through a spiritual awakening right now, and I feel like this is why the tower's here. They're having a reckoning about how maybe this was a stalemate because they were not able to choose, but I feel like they're trying to choose something, and they're blocking someone else out of their life with that two, two of swords, okay? Tell me about Scorpio and a Scorpio. I can't remember which one it was. King of Pentacles, that's right. I'm ashamed of how I treated you. And I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. So this Scorpio, yeah, I feel like there was competition. Okay? But they do want to nurture this connection, Scorpio. They're feeling conflicted maybe because of other people connecting here to this connection. But they do want to reach out to you. They're, they're feeling shameful of how they treated you as well. Pisces. Let's do Pisces. I'm not going in order. I kind of mess these up. Sorry. I'm working up the courage to contact you. Yeah, because they can't let this go. Pisces really wants to reconnect with you, Scorpio. Three of Swords. The Moon. Hang on, Scorpio. Sorry, I had to pause that because I was trying to make sure I got the cards right. So the Scorpio, I apologize. Scorpio and Scorpio was Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So they want to give you this truth about how they want this to work. They're ashamed of how they're treating you and they pulled away because they were overwhelmed with everything. But they are coming back to tell you their feelings is what Spirit is saying to me, okay? Um, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius is Five of Wands, Three of Swords. This is a person who really... Um, they're, they're feeling hurt. Sagittarius is definitely feeling hurt. And I feel like there was betrayal here because of other people that were involved or because of arguments and disagreements. I feel lost without you. Yeah, look, this would make sense. Three of swords. They feel lost without you. They're ashamed of how they treated you. I feel like if they put you in competition. Yeah, look, I wish I could take it all back. So Sagittarius is definitely going through it for you, Scorpio, right now. Okay. Um, I feel like if it's five of wands, they might have did this themselves. That five of wands is not just there for no reason with the three of swords. So they know they betrayed you or they feel betrayed by you, one of the two. Okay. Um, now, this is the sun and the hangman, which is going to be Cap... No, not Capricorn. This is um, Aquarius. Aquarius is having a reckoning. We've already pulled the two cards on this one. Okay. And then we read Pisces. Oh, here's Capricorn. Capricorn is the moon, the devil, the strength, and the nine of pentacles. So Capricorn's afraid you're putting yourself back out there, and they're trying to they're trying to get their self to put their selves back out there. Um, maybe if they came out of something, or they're afraid that you're going to, but they're not showing you their truest feelings about how they feel about you. But they do care. I have unwillingly unwittingly sabotaged our connection. Capricorn feels guilty for that. And it's because they have unhealthy habits and behavior. One more. Friends or family disapprove of this connection. So there was definitely interference. And maybe that's why that moon card is there. And that's why they're holding themselves back. Because they do have unhealthy habits and behaviors. Look at that. See how it goes together perfectly. Okay. Scorpio, I hope that this collective read did a little for you and helped you out in some way. Tell me what you think about these kind of reads. I can do them daily. Until next time, Scorpio. Bye.